guys welcome to our youtube channel eva family nga, nga, nga. eva family so today we're going to make a little jollof rice you know the one they call nigerian jollof rice if you've not tested nigerian jollof rice guys you are missing you need to taste nigerian jollof rice okay it's simple to cook it's delicious when you eat you want to eat more so today on this episode you are with chef violet oh <laughs> so guys i'm going to show you what i'm going to use to cook the jollof rice it's very simple it's very easy go with me and then go get your pot and give it a trial and comment in the sec in the uh comment button tell us how the trial went did it taste nice how did it come out please we we love to know and tell us what you want us to cook more okay thank you okay guys these are what i'm going to use to cook uh this nigerian jollof rice okay jollof rice that is the name jollof rice okay um this this is tomatoes this is red pepper this is spring onion spring onion okay then this also red pepper but is hot this is green pepper now the green pepper you can you can get this kind of green pepper you can get a long one it doesn't matter any one you have you can use it i prefer using green pepper for my jollof rice and also for my vegetable soup guys why it has this unique taste like uh, uh you know when i when you eat the food you feel there is something additional but you can't place it we call it the secret the secret okay uh okay this is hot pepper so now my hot pep my red fresh hot pepper is not much i'm going to introduce this is the dry pepper so i'm going to introduce the dry pepper and also we have pepper and onion in this sachet so i'm going to use uh the pepper and onion in this sachet okay and also we have the wonder wonder the wonder wonder we have this okay this is garlic this is garlic we have garlic okay you can also use the gino tomatoes right because i don't have the gino tomatoes uh, for now i want to use this all right also this is our onion the salt to taste uh, uh, this is Maggi, this is curry, and this is thyme. This is bay leaf. Bay leaf is very good in cooking and uh, in cooking jollof rice. Please, guys, remember to remove it. I. It's not good when you leave bay leaf after cooking, and then when you are trying to dish the food, you are struggling with the bay leaf. Please try to remove the bay leaf before dishing your food. So this is bay leaf. Now. Let me talk about this maggi. Tested this maggi, right? Like busy mood fuck. It has it, it is meat. It also have tawuk, the chicken one. It have the mixed. So whichever one you want to, give it a trial. The test is nice. This is what I use. This is definitely what I use for my cooking. Any of my cooking. Sometimes I use the uh, the turkey, one, the chicken type, or the meat type. So for today, I'm going to use the meat type. Okay, it's very good. It must not be no. It must not be. If you don't, if you have no answer, perfect. If you don't have, please don't kill yourself. You can get this. Your food will taste nice. Will come out perfectly good. All right. Now I'm going to. This is the rice. This rice is going to be enough for what I'm going to cook today. It's roughly 1 kg. This is my turkey meat. Uh, washed and it's nice. It's ready for cooking. Now, because 
I did not marinate my turkey, okay, I'm going to cook it a little so that the sauce will, end, will go in. If I've marinated it, I don't need to cook it. I like grill. So I'm going to grill this turkey. If I've marinated it, I'll just grill it direct. But because I didn't marinate it, I'm going to parboil it or just boil it a little, make it tasty. Then I will grill it. I will show you how it looks, how the look come out after the grill. Then this is the blender I use. I also make more and more with this blender. It's good. This blender is, you can see, is Beko. Beko product. The blender is very good. So you can buy it. You can buy the 1.5 liter. This is 1.5 liter. You can also buy the, um, the 1,000 liter. The 1 liter, sorry. 1.5 liter. This is 1.5 liter or the 1 liter. Okay. Uh, this goes roughly for 650. 650 Turkish lira, which is very, very good. Which is very, very good. You can buy it from Trendio. You can buy it from Hepsi Buddha. You can also walk around the baker shops anywhere. You will see it. You know, it's a good blender. That can blend beans, sorry. <laughs> Something that can blend beans is a good blender. Okay. So this is what I have for my cooking today. When I'm done, I'll show you. I'll take you to the process though. I will also show you uh, the finishing, all right? Okay, in here, you can see it's boiling very well. This is tomatoes, dry and uh, fresh hot pepper, onion, spring, uh, spring onion, garlic, everything is in here, it's boiling perfectly well. Why do I boil it? I boil it to take out uh, the salt taste. I boil it to take out the salt taste. After boiling it, then I will fry. Also in here is my, my talking meat. As I told you, the talking meat is here. I will remove it in the next two minutes so that I will, I will grill it. All right? Now, for those of you who probably have crayfish but maybe your crayfish is small you are wondering how will this crayfish be enough i'm going to give you a secret try putting this crayfish first in your oil before putting on any other thing i learned this from my my auntie and it's working it's working out very well okay let's put this is garlic i also fry my garlic i also fry my garlic in the oil it makes the taste to be wonderful, like wonderful. So I put my garlic, put my garlic in the oil first. First thing goes my garlic. I wait a little for it to be a little bit brown. Fry a little. It gives, mm, it gives a very good aroma. Then I put my crayfish. Okay, why am I doing this way? Because the crayfish is not much, but I want the taste to come out. So you do it this way. If you don't have crayfish, it's okay. Don't allow the crayfish to burn because this is hot oil. Don't allow the crayfish to burn. Immediately, please put your onion. Put your onion. Don't allow your crayfish to burn. You can see? See what we are doing. The crayfish is here. The garlic is here and the onion is here okay because the crayfish and the onion will fry with the tomatoes i prefer to put my tomatoes immediately i prefer putting my tomatoes immediately so this is the parboiled tomatoes oh the aroma is so good so this is the parboiled tomatoes. So what do we do? We wait while see so the color. Oh, oh, so nice. So we wait while the uh the stew fries. We wait while it fries. So let's wait 
Remember, I've not added anything. Maggi, curry. No, I've not added anything. I'm allowing the onion, the crayfish, and the tomatoes to fry. I'm allowing it to fry. So, okay, let's see the oven. This is roughly 35 minutes to grill this turkey, turkey meat. All right. Wow. You can see how the meat is. If you want, I like it this brown. I don't like it so dry. I like it when it's brown and it's juicy. Okay. So I have just uh, three minutes left, two minutes now precisely. So 35 minutes is okay. And one other thing, I like, uh, I also like my turkey with sauce. I took this sauce from the the pepper sauce I did for the jollof rice. So I took out this. I'm not going to use all anyway. So I use this to like garnish the turkey meat. So I brought it out. I'm going to use it. Uh, meanwhile, everything is in here. You can see the bell leaf I, saying I am here. Look at me. I am here. I'm doing my work. This is the this is the rice, okay. I didn't parboil the rice because of the type of rice I'm using. I'm using basmati, so I washed with hot water and I put directly inside the pot. If you're using some some type of rice, maybe they have they are starchy. You can parboil and get uh, rid of the excess of the of the stash, okay. So let's wait. Then if you are an onion lover like me, you can see when the food is ready, like it's ready, you are about bringing out down, you sprinkle it. Onion can never go wrong. Onion can never go wrong. Sprinkle it. Turn your food. Okay. This food is ready to serve. It's ready. It's ready. Remember to remove your bay leaf. Remember to remove your bay leaf, guys. Remember to remove your bay leaf. Okay. Our food is ready. Our jollof rice, Nigerian jollof rice is ready. Guys, can you see? This is the grilled turkey. This is the jollof rice. You see the color? The color is so perfect it came out perfectly well you can see it oh my god oh let's take a taste oh mm. oh the taste is i can't describe it so delicious everything came out well the salt is okay the maggi the maggi is okay the it's not too <gasps> You know, some people when they are eating their jollof rice, as if they want to collapse. You cannot collapse eating this. Everything came out nice. Thank you guys for liking our video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comment. Let the comment keep it keep coming. You can tell us what else you want us to cook. Any variety of food, we are here to cook. Tell us any other thing you want us to cook next time in our cooking video. For now, take care. Bye. We love you.